All right, welcome. My name is Jade Cougar. I'm from the United Gaming Federation. You can check out our website, unitedgamingfederation.net. This will be the first of a series of map walkthroughs that I'll be doing for the United Gaming Federation members, in particular Alpha Company. The target of this exercise is to um, briefly go through the map and show the main locations that we will be calling out quite often on comms and to try to align people with the same terminology that we're all going to be using. Alright, let's get started. By default there are five main locations. There's High Ledge, Bunker, Cavern, Stairs or Gas Tanks area, and Cockpit. The United Gaming Federation is going to be naming two additional locations and the reason is there's an entire back section of the map where a lot of things go on and you can't call them out. So we're going to do that now. All right, we're going to go through here this bunker. This is the main bunker. There are two windows uh, overlooking the south. You can get over to the west side as well from this bunker a little, uh, from that bunker window. You can get a good view of the cockpit, the cavern, and the other bunker, and even the ledge, the high ledge up there. All right. This bunker is quite large, as you, as you can see, and there's an exploding barrel in there. You might want to take care of that before finding yourself blown up to pieces. The second part of the bunker is at the back, uh, just a big room here. You'll see a lot of people uh, squatting and camping it out in these locations. Be mindful of that as you go in. And then finally to the back of the map, the unnamed sections of the map, uh, I'll be naming this the drug field for obvious reasons, which you can see here. The drug field. Then we have the second bunker. The second bunker is much smaller, as you can see. Very much smaller. You'll often find snipers sitting here, picking off people coming from the south, east. But there's a great field of view, at least to the southwest and southeast. So you keep in mind, keep in mind this position as well can get a good view of inside the cavern, the plane, the other bunker, uh, the guys who are flanking around the back, the high ledge, and that's it. And once again, you'll remember, I call out that there are two locations additional to this at the back side of the map for a reason. Because over there you can't see so well of who's coming over on that side. There could be a whole load of people flanking your position. All right. Drug field. And then finally, over here is the second location, which is uh, affectionately called the Ridge. Simple little area overlooking the drug field and overlooking the middle section of the plane and even a little bit of the ledge. This is a pretty decent spot. It's pretty secluded, but it's a good space to make your attack um, and, and flank your opponent. Next spot's going to be the high ledge. We're going to run to that. This is a very common spot. A lot of exploding barrels. A lot of these brick walls, which are good for protection, good for hiding. Um, but a lot of people still like to come up here and snipe. Well, I won't deny there's an awfully good view of the entire map, the ridge, even part of the drug field, that building in the drug field, the, um, the bunker, both of them also the planes to some degree, and even the cavern. Um, you can get sniped off so bad, not even from the front of you, but also behind. So you might want to be careful or use this wisely. Some people like to get out here on this ledge, only to turn around and pick people off as they run by. One other spot I'd like to show you briefly, that you may or may not know, is over here where these, pine, uh, these cones are, excuse me. You can see rock number one and rock number two. Both of these rocks you can actually go out on, and it certainly is not a glitch. Now, it doesn't look like much from here, and it shouldn't, because uh, if somebody could see you here, you'd be toast. But you can get a good overwatch of the, um, of the stair activity. But check this out. Come up here. Move those bad boys. Crouch down a bit. Nobody cares to look over here too much. 
People are usually just running right by or running up to the watch, uh, to the uh, high ledge. You can pick them off pretty easily. Alright, let's blow stuff up. Boom. Oh, yeah. Alright. Then we go over here. There's the stairs and the side entrance of the cavern. We'll get to that one in a moment. Alright, let's go down the stairs. These are the back stairs, which you can go around the entire back side of the map. There's a small little section here you can hang out if you really want to, and wait and wait and wait, and enjoy the fine scenery. Or you can get back up and do some killing. Go up the stairs, and we're at the back side of the cavern. We'll move in. Now the cavern's an interesting spot. It's got three locations. We've got a side entrance, we've got a back entrance, and we've got a front entrance. There's a lot of activity that goes on in here. And there's also a pretty decent spot for sniping out people. Boom. Also the side. Boom. And the front. Now why this is good, it doesn't look like much from here, but it's very dark. This area is dark. And as you're coming in from the light, looking into the dark, by the time you see the person, you're already dead. Alright, we'll continue back out to the back side. Anti-aircraft gun. Alright, we head down the back side of the mountain where the Humvees are, and the very first bunker is. Not much to note over here other than this hole. This is kind of nice to help out. Get your guys. about it. Okay. And then we're back at the start. One other location. The plane. The plane is broken into three sections. There's a tail section, middle section, and then finally the cockpit, of which you can actually get into and pick people off. Okay. Not a bad place. You can get in all three sections including the tail section. Just keep in mind, your mobility is limited, and you can get picked off from almost all angles when you get out. Another spot that people like to hide in the caverns are over here. Also over here, it's a decent spot. And then those that really like to sit it out come over here to the corner and just wait for people. And even get the guys on the ledge. Alright. So, for a review, we've got the high ledge, the bunker, the cavern, the stairs, and the cockpit, plus two UGF made locations, the drug field and the ridge. We'll run through them extremely quick. I've got Marathon on, so hang in there. We're running through right now what would be the cockpit area or the airplane. We're coming up towards the ridge right now. There's the ridge. And we're heading up to the high ledge area. This whole area is the high ridge, or high ledge, excuse me. Now we're going to head down toward the stairs, which are right here. and then back up, which will get us to the back of the cavern, which we'll quickly do a run through. We went through the back side, we passed by the side entrance to get to where we are now, and then finally the front entrance. Running back out to the back of the cavern, and then finally down the hill to where our Humvees are. All right. That'll be it for this map. I um, want to thank you for watching. I know it's not always exciting to do these map walkthroughs, but for the purpose of communication and getting everyone on the same page, uh, particularly UGF members, um, this is a really important exercise. Learn these locations. There are seven. Learn them well, and we'll work on our communications to call them out. If there are any questions, you know where to find me. And for those that are visiting, I want to thank you for watching, and please check out our website at www.unitedgamingfederation.net 
Thanks for watching.